Now the important thing to remember always is when it comes, I first determine the shape of the graph. In this case we know that it is a parabolous shape. Okay, and um, we can see that in front for that first one the A value is equal to 1. So for the first one the A value is equal to 1 in front of that bracket. It is a positive number, so the shape of the first graph, and let me keep in green as far as possible to not confuse you, the shape will therefore be a smiling shape, an upward shape. Okay, so the first thing we do is the shape, the next thing we do is the position. The position. Now here we see, okay, my P, my symmetry line, is the line X minus 4 equal to 0. And that means X is equal to um, 4. So in other words, all I did was to take this bracket and I made it equal to 0 and we can see, oh, that's the value of P anyways. Okay, uh, which means down here is my symmetry line at x equal to 4. Now, somewhere on that line, my graph is going to turn. And my graph is turning at the value negative 9. So at negative 9, it's going to turn. And let me just go down a little bit. There we go, negative 9. Somewhere on here it's going to turn. Right there it's going to turn. So that's my position. Next I need to find the x or the y-intercept. Now I said that if we make x equal to 0, we'll find the y-intercept. And if you look at this part, the ax uh, plus b, ax squared plus uh, bx plus c, I mean, if we look at that part, when x is 0, then that's 0, and that is 0. So a positive 7 is my uh, intercept where I cut the y-axis. So the y-axis is intercept. I intercept the y-axis there. Now I need to find my x-intercepts. So for x-intercepts, we make y equal to 0. So let me show you. And in this, we make this equal to 0 and now I need to solve for x. Now there's a very easy way to solve this and that is to take the negative 9 so add it to both sides to get rid of it on the one side so I get that. Now I can take a square root on both sides to get rid of the the 2 but remember when we take a square root we put a plus minus in front so we get that x minus 4 is equal to positive 3 or x minus 4 is equal to negative 3. So that on the one side I see that answer must be 7 or x is equal to 1. Which means these coordinates is 7 comma 0 and 1 comma 0. So going back to our graph, there we go with 7 comma 0, there's the one intercept and there's the other intercept. And now I just need to make this shape through all of those points turning at this point. So there I go. And don't forget your arrows at the ends and to write the name of your function on the graph.